Hi everyone, it's me again, Teacher Will. Welcome back to our statistics and probability subject. For today's video lesson, we are going to learn another important step on the process of hypothesis testing. Let's start! In hypothesis testing, a researcher collects sample data. And from the given data, the researcher formulates the null and alternative hypothesis. Then she or he chooses appropriate test statistics and computes it. If the statistics fall with the specific range of values, the researcher rejects the null hypothesis. The range of values that leads the researcher to reject the null hypothesis is called our region of rejection. At na-introduce ko naman na sa inyo from our previous video, kung ano yung rejection region at paano natin malalaman kung saan direction siya makikita. So, we will have a deeper discussion about it on this video lesson. Okay? So, let's start with the critical value. In hypothesis testing, a critical value is a point on the test distribution that is compared to the test statistics to determine whether to reject the null hypothesis or not. So, critical values for the test of hypothesis depend on the test statistics, which is specified to the type of the test and the significance level, which defines the sensitivity, sensitivity of the test. So, itong critical value na to, isa sa pinakamahalagang hahanapin po natin, kahit ito po yung i-compare natin sa test statistics para ma-determine natin kung ano yung magiging outcome ng ating um, study. Okay? Yan, so sabi nga natin, nakabase po siya sa type of test na gagamitin natin at saka sa significance level. At may gagamitin po tayo ang table para dito. Ayan, so kapag yung test statistics po natin ay z-test, so ang hahanapin po natin na critical value is z-score. At ito po yung critical values natin. So again, nakabase din po siya sa level of significance natin. At yung most common na level of significance natin ay yung 0.01, 0.05 and 0.10 as well as sometimes ito rin po 0.025 yan. At ito yung um, mga Z score po natin o Z critical value. Kapag left tail, of course, mga negative values po yung ating mga critical values. Kapag right tail, syempre mga positive. Kapag two tail, since magkabilaan siya, positive at negative value. So, tingnan mo na lang dyan kung ano po yung gagamitin natin na critical value based sa ating tail test at sa level of significance. Okay? At kapag naman po t-test ang gamit po natin, of course, ang gagamitin naman po natin ay t-distribution. Okay, hindi ito napalitan sa pati t. Ayan, t-score. Ano po ay tinatawag na natin t-score. Okay? Ayan po siya. So, gagamit din tayo ng t-table. Pero since uh, meron nga lang tayong mga common na level of significance na ginagamit, uh, pinaikli na lang po natin. So, ito na po yung ating mga specific values. Depende po sa ating degree of freedom pa rin po, which is the n minus 1. Yan. Kung um, one tail test, dito mo titignan sa taas. Kapag two tail, dito naman sa baba. Okay. And, ayan, hahanapin lang po natin yung, um, yung kanyang t-score based po sa ating degree of freedom. Ayan, so review lang natin kung ano yung critical region natin. So, yung critical region is also known as the rejection region describes the entire area of values that indicates you reject the null hypothesis. In other words, um, the critical region is the area encompassed by the values not included in the acceptance region. It is the area of the tails of the distribution. So, ito po siya na kung saan, kung ano man yung mga values na mag-fall dito, i-reject natin yung null. Pero kung um, nag-fall naman po sa labas na rejection region, ibig sabihin, nandito siya sa acceptance region natin at i-accept po natin yung null hypothesis natin. So, itong area na to ay tinatawag din na tails ng ating distribution. And so, these are the tails. Kapag left tail test siya, meron lang siyang isang tail sa left side. Ito po siya. So, yun yung ating rejection region. Again, yung pinaka yung location niya po magbabase po doon sa ating critical value. Yung critical value yun yung mismong location na, na naghihiwalay sa ating um, acceptance region at saka sa rejection region. Dapat um, tama pa rin po yung pag-identify nyo ng kanyang location. Okay? At kapag right tail test naman po, yun siya, dito naman ang, sa right side naman yung kanyang tail. 
yung tail na yun, yung po yung ating rejection region. Okay? And pag two-tailed naman po, yung tails natin ay sa kabilaan po, sa both ends ng graph natin. Let's have this example. Right tail test where population standard deviation is known. Alpha is 0 0.05 and N is equal to 34. So, ano po kaya yung critical value nito? And so, since known po ang population standard deviation, alam po natin na gagamit po tayo ng Z-test na po yan. Automatic Z-test. Basta may population standard deviation. So, Z-test. Ngayon, kung Z-test po siya, ibig sabihin, ang hahanapin po natin na critical value ay sa Z-distribution o yung ating Z-score ang hanapin. From the table, kapag right tail test daw po siya at 0.05 ang level of significance niya. Ang ating Z-score is 1.645. So, positive po kasi nasa right tail naman po siya. Ayan, kung i-illustrate po natin siya, yung location po nung um, critical value natin ay ito po siya. Ayan, nung ating 1.645. 645, ayan siya. Ang ibig sabihin, yung nasa right tail po, yung buong area na nasa right side nitong critical value po natin ay ang ating rejection region. Okay? Okay, next. Okay, dito naman, two-tail test siya when the population standard division is unknown. Unknown. And um, yung N natin is less than 30, which is 10. And alpha is 0 0.05. So, ibig sabihin, kung Ito po yung cases, ang gagamitin po natin ay T-test. So, T-test po yung gagamitin. So, ibig sabihin, T-distribution yung gagamitin natin to identify the critical value. Ayan. So, kung two-tailed test siya, ang itsura po ng kanyang illustration ay from our table, makikita nyo sa two-tailed test under 0 0.05 level of significance ang ating T-critical value ay 2.5. 262. Again, um, kapag two-tail test, we have the negative value and the positive value. Ayan. So, yung location po niya, ito, bali sa negative 262 siya at saka sa positive 262 siya. Ayan. So, ibig sabihin na, na yung um, dulong, dulong test niya po ay yung magsisigbi natin rejection region. Ayan siya. Okay? So, kapag magpo-fall po dyan yung ating um, computed value, mare-reject po yung ating null hypothesis. Okay? And another example left, tail test siya when population standard deviation is known, alpha is 0 0.01 and n is equal to 40. n is equal to 40, large sample size, known. So, ibig sabihin, z-test ang ating gagamitin. z-test po. At z-distribution yung gagamitin natin to identify ang ating critical value. So, kapag 0 0.01 at left tail test po siya, ang z-score natin is 2 point. Ang z-score po natin would be negative 2 point. Bakit negative? Kasi nga, left tail po siya. Negative value po siya. Ayan. So, ito po yung location niya. So, yung nasa left, um, left area niya po ay yung magsisilbi nating rejection region. Okay. And so, another example we have here, a survey reports a customer in the drive through lane of one fast food chain spends 8 minutes to wait for his or her order. A sample of 24 customers at the drive through lane showed mean of 7.5 minutes with a standard deviation of 3.2 minutes. Is the waiting time at the drive through lane less than that of the survey made? Use 0 0.05 significance level. And so, yung goal po natin is to determine yung ating critical value at makonstruct po natin yung ating rejection region. And so, syempre, to do that, kailangan po natin tong mga detalye nito. So, syempre, kailangan muna natin malaman kung saan ba ang mag-fall yung ating rejection region. Magkabila ang doon tail, sa, kabila, sa left tail lang ba, o sa right tail. Ayan. At para malaman po yun, kailangan natin ma-formulate yung ating um, al-null at saka alternative hypothesis. Ayan. So, ang claim, daw, ang claim daw na gusto natin i-prove ay less than po. Less than. So, ibig sabihin, that would be our H is less than 8. And, of course, yung ating ay kabaliktaran, greater than or equal to 8, or just 
mean equal to 8 kahit anong dyan sa dalawa. Ayan. Since ang alternative natin has the symbol of less than, ibig sabihin, left tail tends po siya. Ayan. So, sabi dito, um, known ba or unknown ang population standard division? Ayan. Actually, wala nga pong binigay. Ang meron po dito ay sample. So, unknown. Ayan. Ang level of significance, ilan? That is 0 0.05. At ang number of sample, 24 customers. So, mababa lang po siya, no? So, ibig sabihin, ang kailangan po natin hanapin ay T value. At gagamitin po natin yung ating T um, table for critical value. Ayan. And, the answer is negative 29. Ayan. Bakit po negative? Kasi nga po, left tail po siya. Ayan. And, sa ating illustration, ang magiging location ng ating critical value ay yan. Ay, ito. Part ito. Ayan. At syempre, yung left tail po, ayan, yung sa left na tail, yun po yung ating magiging rejection region. Okay. Another example, a banana company claims that the mean weight of their banana is 150 grams with a standard deviation of 18 grams. Data generated from a sample of 49 bananas randomly selected indicated a mean weight of 153.5 grams per banana. Is there sufficient? Is there a sufficient evidence to reject the company's claim? Use alpha 0.05. Ayan. So, kailangan natin itong mga um, detalye na ito. So, una, ano ba yung mga hypothesis natin? Kasi kailangan natin yung alternative hypothesis eh. So, dito... Again, so yung claim po niya, tinanggit naman na dito, ang claim daw is, ayan, is equal to 150. Ayan, so each o natin is equal to 150. Ayan, so ibig sabihin, ang each a po natin ay not equal to 150. Ayan, so I bought it since not equal yung symbol, ibig sabihin, two-tailed test siya. Okay? Unknown or known ba ang population standard deviation? In this case, ayan, known po siya. Ayan. Standard deviation itong mismong um, claim natin. Ayan. So, no. Ayan. Level of significance, we have 0 0.05. Number of sample, we have 49 bananas. So, ibig sabihin kung known po at um, large, value, large sample size siya, ibig sabihin Z value po yung ating gagamitin. So, this will be our illustration. So, yung location po ng ating critical value would be 1.96. So, ahanapin nyo sa critical value na table, yung total, then um, 0 0.05 level of significance. So, that will be 1.96. Pero, since um, total test po siya, positive and negative, 1.96 po siya. So, ito po yung kanyang illustration. So, yan po yung ating um, value na 1.96 na umihiwalay sa ating um, acceptance region at sa rejection region natin. Pero since two-tailed po siya, ibig sabihin magkabilaan po ang ating rejection region. Okay? So, ito na mga example natin na to Proportion naman siya. Okay, tingnan natin. Um, the claim is made that 40% of the tax filers use computer software to save up uh, to file their taxes. In a sample of 50 tax filers, 14 use computer software to file their taxes. If, um, and given that if our population proportion is less than 0.49 and alpha is equal to 0 0.025, where P is the population proportion who use um, computer software to file their taxes. Ayan. So, yung P po natin, ayan, given naman na, Ayan. So, hindi naman na tayo mahirapan, though mer meron naman na tayong given na alternative hypothesis which is less than 0.44. So, ibig sabihin, ang HO po natin is equal to 0.40 or greater than or equal kahit ano po na sa dalawang yun. So, since less than po, ibig sabihin, left tail din siya. Okay? Ang level of significance na binigay is 0 0.025. Ayan. So, tatandaan ninyo sa ating um, population proportion, ang gagamitin po natin lagi is Z-test. So, ibig sabihin, Z-critical value din po yung hahanapin natin. Yan pa rin yung gagamitin na 
ang table. And from the table, 0 0.025 and left field, ang ating critical value, Z is 1.96. Pero since left field po siya, that will be negative. So, yes. Yeah. I-locate lang po natin yung negative 1.96 sa ating curve. And yung nasa left part niya po, yun yung po yung ating rejection. Okay? Ayan. So, last example. In Kalinga Special Education School, a sample of 144 students uh, was chosen. And among them, 48 are diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or HD, ADHD. At 0 0.01 level of significance, test the hypothesis that the proportion of ADHD student in the school is not 0.40. So, yung claim po natin dyan, ayan, alam na natin, sabi niya dito, is not. Yun yung Q natin dito eh, is not. So, ibig sabihin, HA is, uh, proportion po ha, not equal to 0.40. Ayan, so, ibig sabihin, ang HO po natin is equal sa 0.40. Since not equal po siya, ibig sabihin, two-tailed test siya. Ayan. And ang level of significance given na rin, that will be 0 0.01. So, ang nahanap po natin ay Z-critical value. Using from the table, ang ating critical value is um, positive or negative 2.57. 2.58 actually. Alright. Hmm. So, ito yung location. Ayan, magkabilaan. So, ibig sabihin magkabilaan till din po yung ating rejection region. Pero, yung area niya po, makakati din sa dalawa. So, sabi nga natin kanina, ang area po nan is yung ating alpha. Ngayon, since nahati siya sa dalawa, hati din po natin yung alpha sa dalawa. So, yung kanyang area of rejection region is 0 0.05. Ganun din dito is 0.005. Okay? Alright, so that will be all for our discussion for today's video lesson. Um, Bali, ganun lang po siya lagi. Kailangan lang po natin yung ating test statistic, yung ating tail test, at ngayon din ang level of significance. Kaya na po natin identify yung critical value. Then, kaya na po natin um, malocate yung area na um, ma-reject po yung ating null hypothesis or yung rejection region natin. Okay, so thank you again for listening. Make sure to hit the notification bell to get updated with our next lessons. Bye!